Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel, Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful paper quilling Shrinachi using strips. And I have created this for Janmashtami festival, and this is looking very very beautiful. The idol is looking like the ready-made one, isn't it? So I will share each and every part in detail how to make the figure, how to decorate this, how to create the crown, the necklace, everything. So without any further delay, let's start with the procedure. I am starting with making the face. For this I am taking 7 strips of blue color in 5mm and making one tight coil. My one strip length is 45 cm. So tight coil is ready, just secure this with glue and now I am just opening it using quilling mold and fingers so that we will have the proper length. Here I am making the front face, I am just tapping the center using back side of the bottle cap to make the base flat and after making the shape the length is 2 cm. Also I have created one more tight coil dome using 7 strips of black color in 3mm and this is made using quilling mold. Now adding glue inside both the shapes and sticking with each other. So face is ready. Then I am taking here one strip of black color cutting it from center. This is 3 mm strip. Then taking half strip and start making the ring like this. So the neck is ready and I am connecting the neck with the face like this. Then, since I didn't have black strip in 5mm, that's why I have used blue and now I'm coloring everything using black acrylic paint. So if you have black strips already, you don't need to paint it. And instead of black, you can also use dark navy blue color strips for the face. Then I have already prepared two more shapes like this for the upper figure and these are made using 8 strips of 5mm. And this is made using 8 strips of 3 mm strips in red color. So bigger one is having 2.2 cm height and the smaller one is simple dome shape which is made using quilling mold. Now I am sticking both the shapes with each other. I have already added glue inside both the shapes. And for the finishing from outer side I am wrapping one small strip of red color on the joint area and the upper portion of figure is ready then I am taking 5 cm radius on my rounder and on red color cardstock I am making one semicircle here I am making the skirt for the dress now quickly cutting the semicircle shape and I will make one cone using this so I am just curling it using scissors so that it will be easier for us to fold this and very easily you can make the cone shape like this add glue on the paper and stick it nicely with each other so cone is ready then here I have prepared this ring using 4 strips of red color in 5mm and I have just wrapped the strip around my pencil now using the quilling mold I am shaping it as a dome. So it will be useful to connect the upper part of figure with the skirt. Adding glue inside this dome as well. Then sticking it with skirt.
and then sticking the upper part of the finger like this. Align it nicely in the center and allow it to dry. So it's dried completely. Now it's time to make the skirt decoration. So here I'm taking one strip of red and one fourth strip of yellow color in 5 mm and making one long cone shape. The height of the cone should match with the height of the skirt. Adding glue inside the cone, spread it nicely with brush so that it will become stiff. And this is done. I like to dry nicely. Similarly, I have already prepared some cones to decorate the skirt. Now it's time to add these cones on the skirt like this. So after adding all the cones, it will look like this. Very pretty, isn't it? Then taking three strips of maroon color in 5 mm and wrapping it around the bottle cap and creating one ring shape. So ring is ready, now I am sticking it on red color cardstock. It's dried so I am just cutting the excess paper from outer edge of the ring. And it will work like a connector between the legs and the skirt. So add lots of glue and I am sticking it inside the skirt like this. Push it nicely and allow it to dry. Then taking the face and sticking it with the figure. Then it's time to make hands. So here I'm taking one and half strip of red color in 5 mm and making one tight coil. Then taking one strip of red color in 5 mm making one more tight coil. Then opening both the tight coils and making the cone shape. like this and height is 2.5 cm for bigger one and for smaller one height is again 2.5 cm. Now adding glue inside both the shapes. Then I have already prepared one tight coil dome using one strip of red color in 3 mm and sticking it with the smaller cone like this in the bottom and then sticking this whole pattern with the bigger cone so it will look like the folded hand so 
similarly i have already prepared one more hand so hands are dried completely and it's time to stick this with the figure like this one will go bottom and one will go upward like this after attaching both the hands it will look like this now it's getting shaped slowly and then here i have prepared the legs using three strips of yellow color in 5 mm and the height of this cone is 4 cm and also prepared one tight coil using two strips of black color in 5 mm here i have just pinched it to make the teardrop shape it will work like the foot so i'm just sticking the legs with the foot similarly i have prepared one more so just joining both the legs together and i'm just pinching slightly the upper part so that we can stick this with dress easily sticking both the legs by adding dot of glue i like to dry for a few minutes then till the legs are drying i am just coloring the upper part of the head using red color because we are going to add the turban here and uh, the back side of the head should look with the colored portion some cloth or fabric should be there behind the turban so here i have prepared these two tight coils using 66 strips of 3 mm in yellow color and uh, i have shaped it like a dome using my quilling mold already added glue inside both the domes now it's time to stick this with the face like this then i'm taking dark navy blue color and simply coloring the front portion of the face like this so that all the features of the face will look nice in the background of dark blue then it's time to connect the legs with the figure so add glue and hold it for some time then here i'm making the dupatta so i'm taking one fourth strips of yellow color and red color and just creating the dupatta like this slantly cutting the bottom of the dupatta like this and then sticking it with the hands i have observed many picture of shrinath ji before starting with the work so i have tried my best to replicate the paintings or the real idol and i think i have done pretty nice job isn't it then here i have prepared these small cones using half strips of yellow color in 3 mm and i am connecting these cones on both the ends of the dupatta and also here i have wanted to mention i have attached palm using one and half strip of black color in 3 mm these are simple teardrop shapes now it's time to make this big necklace so i am taking here yellow color paper which is 10 by 4 cm i have just folded from center and chop the bottom in curved shape so first of all i am connecting this in front portion like this so all the jewelry ornaments stones chains ball chains necklaces i am going to stick on the paper now first of all i am making the layer of the big necklace which is near to the neck using green golden ball chain some stone chains and some silver color stones then decorating the remaining portion and i am keeping 5 mm gap from all over the design so that we can connect the lotus petal later to create the lotus necklace so here i have filled everything with the stones and also decorating the turban then i am showing you how to make ears for this i am taking one eighth strip of black color in 2 mm and making one small teardrop shape This is the bender teardrop. Similarly, you created one more. So I am just joining ears like this. Then 
then it's time to make the lotus garland for this i am taking one strip of pink color in 2 mm just making the tight leaf shape making small dome add glue inside this and the lotus petal is ready similarly i have prepared already some more now it's time to decorate the remaining portion of the necklace with these lotus petal and this is completely done looking very very beautiful isn't it also attached two tight coil for the earrings which are made using one fourth strips of golden color in 3 mm adding diamond chain and two red color stones inside the tight coil then I am showing you how to make nose. So here I am simply taking one triangle shape in black color, pinching it from bottom, and the nose is ready. Very simple. So I am just sticking it on the face. like this then i have created the eyes and lips using black color white color gel pen and uh, adding the stone which is the speciality of shrinath ji this is the diamond on the chin and created the beautiful decoration on turban as well using some ball chain stone chains added the pattern like this and we need to add one more pattern on back side here i have prepared this leaf shape using yellow color paper added golden paper on back and decorated this also using some stones and ball chains then i'm sticking this shape hold it for a few minutes and it's completely dried and looking very pretty isn't it i have decorated with some more diamond chain from back side for the finishing Now I will show you how to make the rose buds. So I have prepared these three petals using one strip of pink color in 2 mm, just like we made the garland. Taking one wired pollen and adding these three petals around the wired pollen using glue like this, and the lotus bud is ready. Similarly, I have prepared two more. So I am just joining all three buds together, and uh, using green color paper strip, I am. joining these three petals So the bunch of lotus bud is ready very pretty and elegant and here i have stuck the lotus bunch on the right hand side like this with the help of glue since we have used wire so we can bend it easily now i'll show you how to make the flute so here i'm taking 10 by 4 cm yellow color paper and i'll start rolling it from one corner and making the pipe shape then just cutting the excess pipe from both the sides and wrapping one thin strip of red color on top of this just to decorate this and then it's time to stick the flute on right hand side like this now here i have prepared the base using 7 cm diameter paper circle 
I have just joined total six to seven layers of cardboard with each other, decorated with yellow paper and half-cut pearls from Edge. Now I'm just sticking the idol on top of this to make it stand. Hold it for a few minutes. And the beautiful idol is ready. I have added one more layer of pearl chain inside this stand. And from back side also it is looking very pretty and neat and finished. I have decorated the dress using some gold paint dots. And in this way you can make this Srinaji idol for upcoming Janmashtami festival. Or you can also give them to your nearer ones. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.